Hello Aquarius, how are you feeling? How are you doing? What is going up? What's the vibe? Update me. Ooh, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and dive right into your reading, shall we? Okay, we have the death card here. Upright, and we have the four of, pen, um, four of cups reversed. What does this mean? This means that you're not happy. You're not happy. I don't like this. I want this to change. Yep. I don't like being stuck in limbo. I don't like being told what to do. I don't like I don't like having to butt my head up against this situation every single day or every other time. This just jumped out. I want to go. I want to go. I want this to change. Where are we going? I got to get out of here. Two of swords, two of pentacles. Can't you see I'm trying? These are the things that I'm hearing, you guys. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm trying, and I'm. It's it's really a lot. Two of Swords and the Strength card. It's taking all of my strength to try, and it feels like the more that I try, the further nothing changes. It just doesn't. We're not getting anywhere. I can sense and I can feel that me doing more is not going to help the situation at all. And to be honest with you, now I'm frustrated. These are the. This is the energy that I'm picking up, you guys. I'm just channeling. Six of Cups. I wasn't expecting that. I want to connect with something or build with something from the past. I want to escape. I want to get away. I want to get back to a place of innocence because I'm anxious. I'm annoyed. I'm exhausted. I'm irritated. I'm burnt out. I'm over it. I want to go back. I want to go back. Go back where? Eight of Swords. Where are you going, Aquarius? You and another sign. Eight of Swords. I want to go back to my happily ever after. I want to go back to my home. I want to go home. I want to feel safe. I want to feel. I want to go back to a place that I belong. I want to. I want to reconnect or rebuild or recalibrate with, with happily ever after. That's what I want for myself. Where I want that. Where is that? Let's stabilize in that. I want to stabilize myself. I want to have fun. I want to have fun. I want to build a business, build a brand, build a life that really makes me happy, really makes me joyful, but how do I do that? And that's the dilemma. That is the dilemma. You know what I was just thinking? I wonder if my neighbor, neighbors, if they can hear me doing readings during the day and they wait for their sun sign to get called and then they take notes. Could you imagine? I should slide them a note under their door, a little post-it on their window, say cash at me. I'm just kidding. Or am I? Or maybe that's a sign right now, you guys. Maybe that's a sign that you, speaking of which, ooh, maybe you need to build your own business, your own brand, and get paid to do what it is that you love. Because it doesn't feel like what you are doing right now or what you're contributing to right now feels like it's really paying off. Kind of feels like everything is stuck in a vicious cycle. Can you tell by how I want to I'm called to like align these cards for you right now? Ooh. Aquarius. I feel fake. I feel fake and it feels funky. That's the vibe I'm getting for you guys. I don't like feeling fake. I don't like, look how exhausted this man is. I always, and I always note his posture and how defeated he looks. Just like, whew. it's like, oh my God, sir, are you, you okay? You know that meme where she's like, you good? At the end of the day, you're like, oh God, get it off. Like it's very toxic, draining. Yeah. You just want to clear your energy of that. You want to knock that stuff right on out. And to do what you love, or maybe it's things that you love are just really draining you, or I used to love this and now I just don't want to do it anymore. Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles. The more that I give, the more that I contribute, the more that I feel like it's not enough and we're just locked into this freaking battlefield and that's not actually what it is that I want. I want to be of service. I want to be, I want to contribute. I want to help. I want this to work. I want this to happen, but it's not making me happy. And the more that I try to look for a solution, it just doesn't feel like there's a solution here. And now I'm just kind of stuck and I'm just waiting for the wheels of, of fate to turn to change. And it's, I'm bored. 
I don't like this. I don't want to wait for time. I want this to happen right now. It doesn't seem fair. I have so much to give. Justice card and the Knight of, Knight of Cups. I'm emotional in this. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I don't feel like I'm in alignment with my passion, with my purpose, with what excites me anymore. And I just don't want to do this anymore. Three of Cups. I just heard with that card, bullshit. It's like you want to have fun. You want to have fun. You want to enjoy. But also I feel like you're feeling like there's a time and a place for fun and joy and pleasure. And this ain't it. Four of Swords reversed here and the Seven of Cups. All right. Let me get out and let me explore my options. Let me see what it is that I can do. And in this hang-up stage, in this cycle of there, this is clearly out of my control, guess what? I'm inviting in and assessing directly assessing divine intervention that's going to give me a brilliant idea a light bulb that's going to free me from the situation wow tower card and the strength card reverse this is literally everything that you are uh, uh, experiencing right now is literally a setup and faded to help you to start to step into a place where you are coming into more alignment with your security your power your purpose your passion direction and it gives you enthusiasm excitement every day and you're going to be independent within it yes this is a, a transition and initiation phase and stage in your life right now Aquarius I know it doesn't feel like it I can see that you're frustrated I can feel that this is dormant I can feel like this doesn't feel like it's going anywhere but it is you not going anywhere is actually you going everywhere because you're inviting in divine intervention into your life which is so needed Aquarius it can't just be you thinking about things all the time and you doing all the things all the time look awakening dreams this means that in the snow, when everything is frozen and when your life is still and when you can't move forward and you can't travel and you can't do, you are getting to have some willow energy here, veils parting. You can see, you can experience this tra transition and initiation. And while you're doing that, honestly, the gardenia here, emotionally protect yourself from the bullshit. Because with the three of cups here, it really was giving me, like, it just feels like people are kind of messing around you know not really contributing their whole and you really want to contribute a whole you want to build a whole business you want to build a whole brand you want to build a whole steady concrete future my incense is sizzling here do you hear it it's sizzling so what do you do my loves you go back to the sacred space you allow yourself to surrender in this limbo stage because again divine intervention is coming through and you're going to have to tell me what spirit tells you because I need to know Yep, shed the old. There's something that you've been doing for a long, long time, you guys. You have you have seven of pentacles here, reversed, and you have ten of cups. It's something that you've been contributing to, that you've been trying to build. And you're starting to see that, okay, if I continue to put my energy and effort into this, I don't. It, I know it's not going to take me anywhere. It's not going to take me where I want to go, at least. So for that reason, you can sense that it's not going to make you happy. And now it's time for you to surrender that transition and be initiated into this next stage this next cycle and i can promise you it's not the most comfortable journey and comfortable process believe me but it's going to be worth it because you don't want to continue living your life aquarius coming home looking like this man every day wearing a mask on and feeling inauthentic when you have a whole lot of light love and offerings that you are ready to give to the world and that the world is ready to receive from you. Now let me just shuffle this card real quick. Ace of Cups. With the Devil card reversed, but I flipped it. So you're gonna get freed once you're free from this bound and some of you guys are gonna ask me why just how 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 do I do this that's a conversation you have to have with God that's a conversation that you have to have with the divine or it's like a reading or something because in which I'm not currently doing those at this moment in time but this is where you are going this is where you are headed this is what's opening up once you are freed from this devil restriction once you are freed from that once you're bound from that and I'm definitely seeing some travel some exploration and some exotic fun stuff and like what if you just left <laughs> think about it that's what your heart wants 
Not me. I'm not saying it. Spirit is. I'm Virgo. I stay still. But that's also my problem. But don't let that be your problem. All right, Aquarius. I love you guys so much. I hope this reading resonated. I hope it reached you with divine timing, of course, always and forever. If you need me, I am here. But also, can you do me a favor and give me a thumbs up if this video helped you in any way, shape, or form? If it was confirmation, it really helps me out. And also, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.